writing. There it was. They've come from the Preston Manor estate of the late Ellen Thomas Stanford. He and I hunted long and often in jewellers and bric-a-brac and one day found two, which I eventually bought and sent home by a king's messenger. Her stepson Croppy worked as a spy during the Russian Revolution. Russia at that time, you, you have a lot of very wealthy people who are fleeing Russia. So you've got a lot of people r rushing around Petrograd and other parts of Russia with these fabulous items in their possession and wanting to sell them. This little bit of Russian Brighton history now found a permanent home in the museum. Fiona Irving, BBC South East Today, Brighton. Now, BBC Children in Need 2021 is this week and the charity says with your help, together we can change the lives of children and young people across the UK. Now, we'd like to find out what you're doing to raise money. You can send us your pictures and videos of your fundraising fun to southeasttoday at bbc.co.uk or get in touch on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you, Pudsey. Time now for the weather forecast with Sarah Thornton. Looking beautiful in the background behind you there. From that big yellow bear to a big yellow ball in the sky. It's the sun, everyone. We finally got it. My goodness me. Short lived, though. Changes through this afternoon. Already starting to see those changes, actually. We've got some cloud moving in, a weak weather front, and it's going to introduce something a bit chilly as well. And maybe some patchy showers as we go through the second half of the afternoon into the evening. As I say, it is a weak weather front, a cold front as well. So it just does cool us off a little bit at the moment of course temperatures are still above average for the time of year you see that cloud then just spilling in uh, the idea that it's thick enough for a touch of drizzle here and there and temperatures at 12 possibly 13 degrees as I say above average for the time of year but then what happens is we wipe all of that really mild air away as all of that uh, cloud pulls off towards the southeast slowly into tomorrow morning so it's going to be a cooler start tomorrow seven or eight in our towns perhaps a little bit cooler than that in the countryside and then as we go through the day tomorrow lots of lovely sunshine again the temperatures tomorrow closer to the average for the time of year it's mild again for the end of the week Kate could be very cold next week watch Ooh, out I'm prepared thank you very much for the warning and that's all from us for now Natalie Graham will be back at 6 30 have a great afternoon bye bye Can you state your name, please? Claire Brown. Was that scarecrow there a minute ago? It's happening again. No! No! Doctor Who continues Sunday at 6.20 on BBC One and iPlayer. I think we will always need artists that are brave and uncompromising. And if they happen to be a genius, then that is a bonus. And I reckon Zappa was all three of those things. Now, before you hear this track... Put life on in the background with Killian Murphy's limited edition. Listen now on BBC Sounds. What, do you want to chat to me a little bit longer? She's going to get offended, so... That was a lot, right? We're cramming so much into this year's Children in Need, I don't know where to start. How about this? Him? Her? A little bit of this? Definitely this. These guys. And a whole lot of this. Children in Need, Friday at 7pm, live on BBC One and iPlayer. Kill him. Right, you ready to rock? Yeah. Let's do it. Sydney, Sydney, you are so bad. Oops. Brand new What We Do in the Shadows Series 3. Press red to watch on iPlayer. Alex Jones contemplated becoming a plumber at one point. Being Welsh, she's a big fan of. Toilet. <laughs> we'll see if there's a match. <laughs> the brand new series of Blankety Blank continues Saturday at 8.55 on BBC One and iPlayer. An awkward meal, a shock announcement, and the one thing you don't want to find in a bin, EastEnders at 7.40. Now, BBC One, Bear will wish he hadn't woken up.